Hey everybody. So tablet computers, you know, like a, like a Nexus or an iPad. I didn't have one until um, a year or so ago uh, when I bought a Nexus 7, the new one, you know, the 2013, the one that actually was decent. <laughs> um, and the reason I'm bringing this up now is because I happen to do something rather foolish to mine today. I'm having somewhat of a techie disaster lately, but anyway, basically, uh, sat in bed. Mrs. Spice just gone to work. Then she calls me out the window and uh, she's left her phone behind. So I, was, I couldn't hear what she was saying at first, so I sort of chucked the cover over, knelt on the bed <laughs> and hung out the window. And as I knelt on the bed, I felt a <laughs> under my knee and I was just like, no! Look, pulled it out. Sure enough, my Nexus is there with a huge smash in the screen. I've done everything. The screen, the, uh, the actual LCD inside, the lot's completely fucked. And I thought I was going to have to um, replace the entire, you know, thing um, because it had a slight bend in it. But when I took the thing apart, I noticed that the bend was actually just in the little plastic frame away from any components. So I should be able to just get a new screen, about 50 quid, switch it over. So not all is lost, hopefully. But in the few hours that I've been out without my tablet, you know, since I broke it, I've realised how much... I used it and how much it made things easier for me with the YouTube stuff because obviously I have Twitter, Facebook, Skype, YouTube for replying to comments, all of this shit in one thing in my hand. But then I've gone and smashed it, haven't I? Should I race? Race? Should I race? So yeah, it's really dawned on me all of a sudden how awesome tablets actually are because it's so, I didn't have one until about a year ago and never really thought it was a problem. The only reason I even bought one in the first place was because my phone, which is on my phone 4 and still is. Oh, and actually, you know, I've got, oh, let me show you this. You remember I made a video called, uh, have you ever smashed your phone? I was like, I've never smashed my phone. Yeah, I smashed the back of my phone. Front style, okay though. Yeah, basically I was at work, it was in my pocket, and I went to sit down, and as I went to sit down in this chair that's outside just for like five minutes, um, my foot kind of gave out on me, and I sat down a bit quicker than you normally would, so you sort of went, uh, oof, and as I did that, my phone just went, wang, out of my pocket and smashed itself on the floor, so I've just put masking tape over the back of it because I'm not, I'm not fixing an iPhone 4, even though it's only £6 for a new replacement um, back screen, I can't be bothered. So I did that a little while ago and now I smashed my tablet. Seriously, I am a, I am like technology destroying machine. But yeah, anyway, that's why I went to um, get a tablet because my phone was just not working and everything. Well, thankfully, it appears that they've done lots of updates in this time and everything that, you know, I used before. Let's go that way, actually. Is now working on my phone. So it's not as good, but it, you know, it's going to do for now. <laughs> Look at all the little duckies. I wonder if I can smash their interface. Look at them. Hello. The other thing about tablets that dawned on me the other day was I saw a couple of people sat down using them and then suddenly I had like a like deja vu. Like I've seen this before and I don't mean someone using their tablet. It was like, I know you're getting very confused here. Basically, someone holding a little device, tapping away on it. I was like, Star Trek. They had them the whole fucking time. And then you start to think about it communicators, mobile phones. Those little things are used, tablets. Doors that go, whew. well, we, we don't have those, but we do have automatic doors. Have they, have they actually managed to teleport like a single electron or something? I can't remember exactly what it was, but they managed to teleport it. Uh, so teleportation's been done, as I understand it. What's the other one that they did? Um, the replicator. Now, if you think about it, a replicator of course, you'll have to know what I'm talking about about Star Trek here, but you know, we'll go with it. It could make as many uh, things as you wished, although it could do food as well. So it basically, that was like a 3D printer. You know, we, we can print in pretty much print in metal now. Well, I know it's not metal; it's like a metalized plastic which you can then chrome and shit like that. But it's getting there. Although there might be, well, I don't know. Maybe they've got one that like squidges out JV Weld and it turns into fucking metal. <laughs> Look at all these crows picking on that old lady. Admittedly, 3D printers can't do food like replicators could, but if you put like a sausage paste into a 3D printer, I'm sure it could print you a sausage. Probably be pretty labour intensive and not necessary, but you know, I'm just saying. So yeah, basically Star Trek came up with mobile phones, tablets, 
the 3D printing, teleporting, the fucking onesie. You think about what they wore, I got onesie. They thought of everything. So what other future technologies have we missed that's soon to follow? I can't remember Star Trek that well. <laughs> oh yeah, impulse engines. They're trying to work out that, aren't they? I'm pretty sure. Like, light-driven engines. Is that the way they work? I don't know. And if you think about it, there is another one, actually. Phasers. Okay, we don't have phasers yet, but we do have lasers, and we do have very powerful ones. And, you know, phaser, laser, it sounds very similar, doesn't it? It's almost suspiciously similar. Not only with the communicator, they also come up with a flip phone. The fuck? And of course, then you have to say, well, how the hell did they come up with all of these answers? Early, 15, 20 years early, however early it was, maybe even older than that if it was in the original episode, you know. How did they do that? Science hadn't got that far. And I know what the answer is. Illuminati, obviously. Catch you next time. So what do you know Trying to get pictures so of people through the window. Seven windows are the same. The matter is, if I could imagine how many injuries from your accident, would you all soon restore 